As we prepare ourselves to take of the bread and the cup, let us take a few moments in silence to confess our sins to the one who this night will be betrayed, but who also forgives. My friends, hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Will you repeat back to me? In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. If you'll follow along with me in the great Thanksgiving, it's in your bulletin and will also be on the screen. This is the night of love, and this is the table of love. At this table, Christ loves us, is with us. And so we pray. We are yours, all yours, blessed triune God, all our lives, all our thanks, all our praise, all our fears, all our grumbling, all our hesitations, all our loves, all our joys, all our passions, we give them all to you with bodies and minds and voices, yours, all yours. Yours the blessing, yours the praise from the unimaginable silence before the beginning, beyond the farthest reaches of time and space we may ever find, from infinity to infinity, everlasting to everlasting, you are God, boundless in love and power. What are we that you should notice us? What are we that you should love us? What are we that you should call us into covenant with you? A covenant we continually broke and you continuously sustained. Mercy, how full of mercy. How can we but praise you, joining our voices with the songs of angels and saints, seraphim and martyrs, strangers and family in every generation? Jesus Christ, who comes in our God's name, you are worthy, worthy, Lamb of God for all creation slain, you are worthy, worthy. You are holy, O God, you are worthy, O Christ, worthy in your birth, worthy in your living, worthy Worthy in your loving, worthy in your serving, worthy, worthy, worthy. You preached good news that God's kingdom has drawn near and gathered disciples then and now to learn and show the world what life in God's reign means. Healing for the sick, new life for the dead, cleansing for the lepers, sight for the blinded, food for the hungry, freedom for the possessed, loved, poured out for all. Worthy the night you took a towel and basin, washed your disciples' feet, and taught them to do likewise. Worthy too the same night we betrayed you, when you took the bread, blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to your disciples. Worthy when you told them, this is my body broken for you, remember me. Worthy when you took the cup, praised God, and shared it. And worthy when you said, this is my blood of the new covenant for you, remember me. We remember and we praise you with our lives and these gifts of bread and wine, proclaiming with one voice the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Come upon us, Holy Spirit. Come upon, us, Holy Spirit. Come upon these gifts. Come upon these gifts. Make them be for us Christ's body and Christ's blood. Make us one body. 
one in heart, one in mind, one in you, Holy Spirit, as you move us to pray for the church and the world, that we may proclaim the gospel boldly, that healing may come for people who are sick and peoples who are torn and weary, that many dead and left for dead may be raised and death itself vanquished, that all who are unclean may receive your cleansing grace, that all who are possessed, oppressed, distressed, depressed, and downcast may be set free at last. Hear us, Lord. That we may love one another and all your creation as you have loved us. Hear us Lord. Even so, come and fill this feast, Holy Spirit, on this night and every night until we eat it new at the marriage supper of the Lamb. All blessing, honor, and glory and power be yours, holy triune God now and forever. Amen. Because there is one loaf, the bread which we break is a sharing in the body of Christ. The cup over which we give thanks is a sharing in the blood of Christ. In the Methodist Church, we celebrate open communion, which means anybody who is wanting a deeper relationship with Christ, no matter where your membership stands, is welcome to come and dine here because we believe that this table doesn't belong to us but belongs to God. We'll serve tonight by intinction, which means you'll tear off a piece of the bread and dip it into the cup. And if you need um, gluten-free wafers, let us know when you come up. We have those available. We invite you to come as you are able to taste and see that the Lord is good. as you're able.
let's pray together our prayer of thanksgiving after communion. Thank you, God, for uniting us with Jesus in this holy mystery. We are no longer our own, but yours. So send us and put us to leading and serving, loving as you have loved us wherever we go. Amen. Let us stand and sing once more a song of praise to the one who came that we might be reconciled to our creator, redeemer, and sustainer. Let's stand and sing together the third and fourth verses of What Wondrous Love Is This. you strip the altar as a representation of um, Christ's body being stripped before he went on the cross, being beaten. And we will drape the altar in black cloth as a reminder that tomorrow is Good Friday as we leave. So I invite you in these moments while Bill and I strip the altar and Elaine sings to turn your hearts and your thoughts towards what will happen to Christ in the next 24 hours.
the night of love. Go forth in the strength of this feast, in the care of this community, and with the love and blessing of our triune God, the one who created, redeemed, and sustains us. Amen. We invite you to go forth in silence as we um, leave the sanctuary in a somber mood, preparing our hearts for Good Friday. Go in peace.